it's time for another amazing chemistry video with Mr. Stapleton. Proudly sponsored by Farming Doing a Nice Coffee. Hi guys, welcome to this video which is all about polymers. Um, tonight I'm going to be talking about um, the d two different types we're going to be looking at, of polyesters and polyamides. How you determine, um, basically how to draw them. So we're going to be looking at the repeating units. We're going to be looking at how you take the monomers and add them together. All right, and work out what your monomers are from the polymer chain. Okay, so I'm going to start with polyesters. Polyesters over here, not surprisingly, have the ester functional group in them. So you'll see that carbon, double bond oxygen, single bond oxygen there. Normally they come from two different monomers. One of them, all right, I'm just going to do a very simple one here, okay, has a carboxylic acid group on each end, okay, like that. And the other functional group that you need is an alcohol, carboxylic acid and an alcohol. So you have another one like this that has two alcohol groups on it. Okay, so this is what we call a di acid, and this one is a diol. Okay, and it's this functional group, all right, the alcohol and the carboxylic acid, where we eliminate out the water molecule, okay, and we form our ester. But it's really important that you have a functional group on either end of your monomers, okay? Because that way you can keep adding them on and keep going. Polyamide's a little bit different. It has the amide functional group, right? Which looks like this, right? And this time, you still have a diacid, okay? So I'm just doing the very simplest diacid that you can have, like that, okay? But what you also have is a diamine, all right? So diacid. And this time you have something that has an amine on either end. Okay, so it's a diamine. And the OH and a hydrogen from there eliminate out to give you a water molecule, all right, and you form your amide there. So I'm going to be looking at polyesters first, but it's important you understand which functional groups combine to give you your polyesters or your polyamides, so make sure you can understand that. All right. So, starting with polyesters, okay, with that functional group, I'm just going to take a couple of monomers and show you how we create our um, polymers from that, okay? So, I'm just going to start with this one, uh, carbon, so CH2, CH2, with a carboxylic acid, I'm just doing the condensed structure there to save time, okay? So, that's one, two, three, four, that's butan dioic acid. Okay, and I'm going to react that with a diol. So I'm going to go with CH2, CH2, CH2OH. So I'm going to go with propan 1,3 diol. Okay, and I'm going to react those together. So, what I do, or what I suggest you recommend you do for the tests or in your exams, is that you actually put your ester group in first. Okay, if you see an acid, a carboxylic acid and alcohol, you know you're going to be making an ester. So actually put your ester in first, okay? Because that's what you're going to be trying to make, okay? Then what you do is you finish off, you go backwards from your carboxylic acid. So we have a CH2, we have a CH2, all right? And then we get to another carboxylic acid or carbonyl group from the carboxylic acid like that, okay? So that part there comes from our diacid. The single one oxygen, I then go to my other part of the alcohol, so CH2, CH2, CH2 like that, and I know I've finished that off, okay? So what I've done here is I've actually put together or shown my um, repeating unit, okay? Repeating unit, you put square brackets around, okay? And this actually comes from two parts. So this part here, all right, that's from our diet acid, and we check that that matches up over here to what we had. And the other part that we have over here, okay, comes from our diol, okay, and we check that that matches up originally with our diol that we originally had, okay. So it's pretty straightforward. You just put your ester group in, put your carboxylic acid to one side, put your alcohol to the other side, okay, put your square brackets around it, and that's your repeating unit. If you wanted to show that it was a repeating unit in the long polymer chain, okay, what you normally have is a little end down the bottom. If I get my lid off, there we go. A little end down the bottom shows that that's the repeating unit. 
okay? And then we could actually finish it off, and we probably should finish it off, okay? This is the end of the alcohol, you know that because it's a single bond oxygen, so that finishes with a H. This is the end of the carboxylic acid, you know that because it's got a double bond oxygen, so that finishes with an OH. So in the middle there will that be our polyester from our diacid and our diol, okay? And the square brackets is the repeating unit, and then we can end it off. Alright, so I'll show you another one. Okay, so that was made from a um, diacid and a diol. I'm going to show you how you can actually have just one molecule. So I'm actually going to pull out an amino acid because we looked at proteins before. So with an amino acid, I'm going to make this one. We know it's got an NH2 on one end, it's got a carbon, double bond oxygen, OH on the other end. So you've got carbs. Um, sorry, I shouldn't be doing that just yet. Okay, um, I'm going to make that I. OH, sorry. Okay, so we've got an alcohol on one end, a carboxylic acid on the other end. Okay, so it's not a protein just yet, sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. So that OH and that carboxylic acid will be able to react. So again, you're forming an ester function group, so that's the first thing I've put in. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Okay, and you have a look, carbon double bond oxygen is here. Okay, all right. You're going to have a single bond oxygen over this way. So your single bond oxygen here, okay, goes to your carbon, hydrogen, CH3. So it's a bit harder when it's just one molecule, but what you can imagine is putting two of them next to each other. So if you actually put another one over here, like this, if you get stuck, if you have just the one monomer, okay, and you can see that the OH and the H there disappears. So we have a carbon and one oxygen, Okay, um, we have a C, so the C single bond oxygen, okay, is connected together, okay, because we've actually drawn our ester the other way around, okay, so just make sure you line everything up. Over here, this comes to another C double bond O, that goes to an O because that's our ester group, that's going to be a C with a H, CH3, okay, and I've deliberately drawn this one backwards to show that sometimes you can do that, okay, you might want to go back and have a look at this one to begin with a little bit, but what you've got here is our um, polymer, okay? You can find your repeating unit in there, and I always find it's easiest to start just where you've got a carbon double and oxygen. All right, so you've got carbon double and oxygen. Just before that, you've got a CCH3. So we go to where we've got the CCH3, which is here. So we put our square brackets in. There's our repeating unit, like that, okay? And we can finish this off again if we want, all right? Um, but that shows our repeating in, in there. That's using just one monomer, okay? So this is a homopolymer, okay? So polyesters, you have a carboxylic acid functional group, okay, sorry, a ester functional group made from a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. All right. What I'm gonna show you next is polyamides, and then I'll start working backwards, okay? So with your polyamides, let me just take that off, sorry, because it distracted me. Right. With your polyamides, remember we had a diacid and a diamine. Okay, so I'm just going to do this one this time again. So butan dioic acid. All right, and I'm going to go CH2, uh, NH2, NH2. All right, so methane diamine will be that one. Okay, so what we do, similar to with our um, polyester, where we put our ester function group in, here we're going to put our amide group in. So carbon, double bond, oxygen, N, H. Okay, and then you find your carbon, double bond, oxygen, which comes from here, and you just work backwards. So we've got CH2, CH2, and then carbon, double bond, oxygen, like that. In the NH, from here, we've got NH, CH2, and then we get to our NH again, okay? So done exactly the same as we did for the polyesters, okay? And I've just um, finished them off. There's our repeating unit there. Hydrogen, OH there. That's your polyester, no, sorry, polyamide. And here, this bit here, all right, is from your diacid. Check that it matches up over here, okay? This part here is from your diamine. And you check that that matches up to your diamine that you had over here. All right. Once you've done a few of these and you've practiced them, they're actually really, really straightforward. Okay. 
Um, what I will do now is show you how we do it from an amino acid, which is what I was going to show you before, sorry. Okay, so again, this is using just the one monomer. So this time I'll put my carbon, hydrogen, CH3 there, and we have an NH2 on one end, and we have a carboxylic acid on another end. Okay, so that's just the one. We've got an amine on one end, carboxylic acid on the other, so we can form a protein chain or a polyamide. Right. So the easiest way to do it is to add another one in over here, carbon, double bond, oxygen, OH, okay, carbon, hydrogen, CH3, NH2, okay. So put your, and because I've put them this way, I'm going to do my amide group like this. Hopefully it will be probably less confusing for you, alright. So the carbon, double bond, oxygen, we go to carbon, hydrogen, CH3, to nitrogen, hydrogen, like that. Over here, the NH here goes to a carbon with a hydrogen, a CH3, okay, into a carbon double bond oxygen, like that. All right. Now, this time your repeating unit is obviously a little bit smaller again. So if you put your square brackets now at the C double bond O, you go to CH, CH3, so you want to find your next C double bond O, which is there. So there's your repeating unit in there. Just one monomer, so it's a lot smaller. You can finish that off there if you want as well. All right. So when you're drawing your polymers, what I suggest you do is you have a scrap piece of paper in the exam, okay? Um, put them next to each other, all right, just like that. You can actually rub out your hydrogen and your oxygens or your nitrogens or whatever it is that you need to rub out, okay? And you can make your protein, uh, so your polymer really, really easily. Okay, what I'm going to do now is show you how you go backwards, okay? So I'm going to draw up a um, section of a polymer. I'm actually going to get rid of that now. Just draw up a section of a polymer, show you how you find your repeating unit, and then how you work backwards to work out what your monomers are. So I'm going to put it up here. Hopefully you've already realised this is going to be a polyester. Okay, so you've got it on either end like that. Okay, you can see straight away we've got this ester functional group, so you know it's going to be polyester. Right? So to find your repeating unit, you can just start your square bracket from anywhere. But like I said, what I always like to do is start with a carbon double bond oxygen, because that's going to be in both of them. So put your carbon double bond oxygen in here. All right, and we're looking for a carbon double bond oxygen going to a CH2, CH2. So we go along, okay, carbon double bond oxygen, CH2, CH2 like that. So that's the start of the next bit. So we end our bracket off there and there's our repeating unit, okay? Now, what we need to do is actually break our ester, okay? And work out what our two monomers were, or our one monomer, depending on what it is, okay? So, find your ester, okay? Here we go, here's our ester there, there's a bond we're gonna break, there's another bond we're gonna break, okay? And you start splitting it up. So, within that, all right, we've got this molecule. CH2, 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 OH. We know it's going to be OH because it's a single bonded oxygen on there. So that's propan 13 diol. Okay. And then the other part we've got is here. So we've got carbon double bond oxygen, CH2, 6. Okay. And then that's what we know is going to be our carboxylic acid. We end that off. Here's the other part of it over here. Okay, but you're just looking for the bits in the middle, all right, where you've got your single bond oxygen gives you your um, diol, where you've got your double bond oxygen gives you your diacid, okay. So, easiest way to do it is work out your repeating unit, break your functional group in the middle, put your two monomers either side from there. I'll show you another one. Okay, do this one. Straight away when you see that you should think polyamide, right, which I'm sure you do because you're all smart cookies. Sorry. Okay, so you've got your chain there. Okay, so first thing we want to do is identify our repeating unit. Okay, so again, um, where you start with your carbon double bond oxygen, that's probably a good place to start. 
just like that. Okay. So if we look for a carbon double and oxygen that then goes to a CH23, or we've got a nitrogen hydrogen with CH26 before it. So we go along. There we've got a nitrogen hydrogen with CH26 before it. So that's there is where we repeat. Okay. So that's our repeating unit there. Okay. So you look for the bit before it or the bit after it that matches up. Okay. Now what you do, same as you did with the polyester, you break your bond. So in the ester we break the carbon oxygen, here we break the carbon and nitrogen. Okay, and we break this bit up. So that comes from CH2, 3, C double one O O H. So there's our dye acid on either side. Okay, and over here on this side, we have CH2, 6. So this is hexan 1, 6 diamine. There's our diamine over here. Okay. It just takes practice. All right. What you got to do is just find some polymer chains, start putting your repeating units, uh, uh, sorry, putting your square brackets in to work out your repeating unit, and start going from there to find your monomers. Okay. So make sure you can go both ways. Okay. Make sure you can actually take your monomers, combine them together to get a polymer. Make sure you can take your polymer and um, break it apart to get your monomers. Okay. Hope this has been helpful. Um, let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Thanks guys, see ya.